Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, they want us to do determine, excuse me, if the binomial x minus 5 is a factor of this polynomial here, and they want us to explain our answer. So the first thing I did, I wanted to call this polynomial f of x. So I say let f of x equal 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x minus 10. I wanted to define that so I can refer to it. And the idea is um, what you want to do here, one way to solve this, I suppose, you want to find what f of 5 equals. You're plugging this 5 in here, and we'll explain that. And that would be 2 times 5 cubed minus 4 times 5 squared minus 7 times 5 minus 10, and you get 105. So you can say, no, um, x minus 5 is not a factor. And it's a little unclear about what they would accept here in terms of an explanation. But I think I've seen uh, examples where you could say x minus 5 is not a factor. And you can say, since f of 5 equals 105, and you can say that does not equal 0. That might be a really minimalist way of doing it, I, and I think that might suffice. But I think you could also say, you can go further and explain what's going on here. This is based on the factor theorem. So you could say, you can name the theorem, but you don't need to, right? Uh, you could say, by the factor theorem. The factor theorem tells us, this is based on the remainder theorem as well. The factor theorem says that if, by the factor theorem, comma, um, f of c equals 0 if and only if, so you put an i with two f's, um, x minus c, that's our binomial, is a factor of f of x. Now, what does that mean? Well, the idea is that if you have some binomial, in our case, you have x minus 5, so we're saying x minus c in general. So in our case, c is what? It's 5. So in our case, if you have x minus, in our case, if x minus 5 is a factor, then f of 5 would have to equal 0. It's an if and only if statement, which is just an if then statement that goes both ways. It says, if f of c is 0, then x minus c is a factor of f of x. It also goes the other way. It says, if x minus c is a factor of f of x, then f of c must equal 0. It goes both ways. And that's based on the idea of the remainder theorem, which says that if you want to know what the remainder is of x minus c, you plug in c to your function, and whatever you get is the remainder. So the, the number 105 that we get here, that's the remainder when you try and divide these two things. So that's it. You can say that. Um, I've also seen answers where you try to do the long division, try to take this polynomial and divide it by x minus 5. And as long as you do it correctly and show that the remainder is 105 and that's not a factor, you'll, you'll get credit. But I hope that helped. Thank you.